Today we're doing a low carb science experiment. How much does bacon and pork roll weigh after it's cooked? Hey there, njroot22.com here with another low carb keto carnivore chat. And today it's about bacon and pork roll. Last week we had a weird video. I just I just wanted to uh, share my feelings that uh, I, I just totally had forgotten about pork roll and how good it was for the low carb keto carnivore diet. And I was curious because they sell these pork rolls, I mean at least the boxes I have been buying, in six ounce packages for a little bit under two dollars a pack. And we set our baseline for bacon most of the time at four dollars a pound. Um, and I was just curious, how much food do you get out of the, uh, the package out of co after cooking? And how much does it cost per ounce? Um, so he here's what I did. I, I had cooked up three uh, different sizes and products uh, recently. I had a thin, a thin sliced pack of, I think, Hatfield bacon, uh, 16 slices of bacon. And I had a thick pack pound of bacon, a uh, thick slice. It was 10 slices of bacon, the Lady's bacon. And I had a six ounce package of thick cut pork roll, the tangy pork roll, a ShopRite brand. I think they're all the same. I, I, there's Case and there's a t uh, other, all different brands you can buy of this pork roll. So I wanted to see like how much food you end up with. So I fried up a pound of the thin bacon and wow, I was surprised. It, you, it loses 75% of its weight after cooking. It was about 4.2 ounces after cooking. So uh, 16 ounces down to about four. So that's 75% less it lost. And just to figure out, well, how much grease is left over. And I weighed the grease too. So it was nine, I'm sorry, five ounces about. Five ounces of grease. So you had nine ounces of food and so seven ounces of uh, evaporated, it was probably water. So that's, it's pretty amazing. So you got, let's just round down, four ounces of food for $4. That comes out to a dollar an ounce after cooking. Um, and I thought that the, uh, ne next I fried up the Elite's Thick Cut Bacon. And I thought, wow, this is definitely gonna have a lot more food because it's thicker. Uh, well, it wasn't the case. Um, after frying up a pound of the thick cut bacon, it, it was only 4.4 ounces fully cooked, which, uh, you know, again, right around a dollar an ounce. And I thought, oh, maybe it has more grease. No, nope, around the same amount of grease. So thick cut or thin cut, it doesn't really matter. You end up with around the same amount of uh, cooked meat and around the same amount of grease. Now, it's important to note that the grease can be reused. So don't throw it out if you don't uh, want to waste it. You can use it to, as, uh, to fry in burgers, eggs, and it, it lasts a long time. We typically only save the grease from the nitrate-free bacon for whatever reason. I don't know why, it doesn't really make a difference, but we save that grease and it lasts way longer. Uh, so we end up throwing a lot of the grease out. We're, otherwise, we'd have a refrigerator full of grease. And next, I fried up uh, these four slices of thick-cut tangy ShopRite pork roll. And it turned out that we got more food, 4.8 ounces of meat. And that works out to about 35 cents an ounce. So it's um, a third of the cost per ounce of cooked food for pork roll. It loses 30% of its uh, weight, uh, either with the uh, water evaporation. And I, I measured the oil, there was such little oil left, but it was uh, 0.1 ounces of oil left. Um, so the pork roll definitely, um, ounce per ounce, is a better value than bacon, regardless of what it costs uh, pre-cooked. The one thing about pork roll is because it's a denser food, um, I think you get more chewing action with the bacon, these strips of crispy bacon. Um, I mean, 16 strips of bacon equals about a little less than the same amount of food as four big slices of pork roll. So it, it's just kind of funny to say, well, f this little pack of pork roll is the same amount of food as a pound of bacon. But yeah, you're definitely chewing more and eating uh, more. So I would recommend not taking big bites of your pork roll, but you know, when you're done, just cut it up into tinier pieces and eat it with your eggs. You might be able to enjoy the pork roll longer. But that was an interesting science experiment. I think 
Pork roll should be a go-to. Uh, that should be your something you fall back on. I mean, you can eat it every week because it's inexpensive, but it's also something you could fall back on when, if and when bacon is not on sale because they have the case uh, pork roll at Walmart every day for $1.76 or something like that. And you can't beat that price when it comes to the amount of food you're getting and the cost per ounce. So there we go. That's a great uh, inexpensive way to eat low carb, keto or carnivore. Have a good day ahead.